Who's Good Potato? It's been Leek here, and it's another episode of Editions. It's a little earlier than the last one, but like I said, this one's going to be Persona 5. Um, I'm an Atlas fanboy. Been one for a long, long time. Um, I played three FPS multiple times, every Storm I complete, every Persona owned, and every possible way I could do it. I had a Lilum that I carried into my late 30s or 40s because she had literally everything that I needed. I was able to do a piece shit like that. Persona 5 put a really awesome twist on it. It took it to a whole new level. I love how you can hold up enemies. I love the new way that you can recruit Persona. It's amazing. Um, the graphics are stunning for an Atlas game. Uh, the story is amazing, as always. Uh, but there's one big issue across the board that I've always thought that uh, need to be fixed, and that's you have a calendar option in your options. Uh, you go up, select calendar, you can see your tests for the entire year, and. All that jazz, you know, big holidays. But one thing you cannot do is leave marks on this calendar. Let's, like, if we could change that, I would love to. Because how do you jump into the middle of a 100 plus hour RPG? A JRPG at that with multiple pets that you can have. All of which have different skills and a vast party with everyone that does specific things that you can switch between. How do you jump back into that? You don't. You fuck up and you die. And by the time that you remember what you were trying to do, you're completely behind. Um, that one thing, like, not even leaving text like, hey, at this time go here, at this time go here, you know, just stamps. Like, hey, go to Death Persa, uh, go to, uh, you know, the Death Arcana, go to the freaking Chariot Arcana, work on these, you know, or maybe something like Velvet Room, or, uh, leave a Death Arcana just to say, hey, you were trying to fuse this specific persona, when you go to look for it, hey, there you go! Uh, this is one thing that's been an issue through all the fucking games, I've said this multiple times now, but... It's the only thing that keeps this game from being perfect, and trust me, it will completely change it overall. So, Atlas, if you ever see this, do it. Just, just, just do it. Don't just like one little engine is all you have to add. It's probably like two or three blocks with like I don't know, maybe some custom text or something that you have to add into it, like a little bit of input for the player. It you can have a pre-selected menu with like little options. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to go about this. Um, like if you enjoyed, comment, subscribe. Um, I think the next one I'm going to do is probably... No, I'm playing a lot Friday the 13th. Let's go ahead and do that. After that, we'll be Killing Floor and so on and so forth. Uh, keep on keeping on. I'll see you guys in the next video.